Hi there, everybody. It's Wednesday, so it is time for ICT. And in our ICT lesson today, we are looking at powerful passwords. Okay? Powerful passwords. Our aim for the lesson today is to create strong passwords. And this is how we're going to be successful. I can explain the rules for creating a strong password. I can create a strong password using a set of rules and I can explain why having a strong password is important. Stay secure. As a group, uh, okay, we need to think about all the ways that we keep our homes and belongings safe. Now, think, of, think about your home. You're sitting in your home right now. How do you make sure your, home, your houses and belongings are safe? We have keys. We have padlocks to keep things safe. Yeah, maybe a smaller key for a bike or something. Sometimes you have a lock, okay, a number lock that you have to press. A safe. A lock box. Or even a really, really hyper mega vault that you might find in a bank. You wouldn't give people that you don't know or friends keys to these important combinations or to a lock, would you? Passwords are another type of lock. We use them to keep our information safe. What do you use passwords for? So what are the kind of things that you use passwords for? Have a think. I hope all of you said Global Campus because you should all have your username and password for that. Your emails, your logging and passwords for games and maybe to go on your iPad, to go onto chats and message boards, if you're signing into video games. We shouldn't tell anyone else our passwords. Think of your password as a key. You wouldn't leave it out for just anybody to use. Sometimes people use passwords that are really common because they're easy to remember, like one, two, three, four, five. Or this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or QWERTY, one, two, three, because it's the first things on the keyboard. Or the password is password. Or the names of your family members or pets, like mum or dad, yeah? Or Rover, or whatever the name of your dog is, or, or, or your birthday, yeah? Or A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, we can't talk to each other at the moment, but what are the reasons? Have a think why you shouldn't use those passwords. Have a think for a few seconds. Why shouldn't you use those type of passwords? Think about what would happen if someone were to guess those passwords. What could they do? Have a think. I hope some of you said they could have access to your information. They could take your stuff. They could look at what you. They could, you know, they could they, they could um, look online and go online and see all of your personal information, which you don't want, or accounts that are private. Here are some basic rules that you can follow to create a really strong password. Here are some rules. Number one: include both lowercase a b c d and uppercase a b c letters. So capital letters and lowercase letters. Include numbers in your password, like one, two, three. Include other characters like punctuation marks and symbols, just like these. And avoid using full words, okay? Or avoid using names or birthdays. For example, if you're Harry Sullivan, yeah, don't have a, don't have a um, password Called Harry Sullivan because someone will guess it. Okay, or if you have a password called, you know, uh, let's think about this, uh, David Williams. If your name is David Williams, don't have a password called David Williams. Of course, remembering Lizzie 03 is a lot easier than remembering G6 question mark question mark B2 N 8 N star N dash. But you can use sentences or phrases as clues to help you to remember tricky passwords. 
to help remember this password. Whoa, look at this one. CLHS at 12 at TB. We could use this sentence. Cinderella lost her shoe at midnight at the ball. Okay, look. Cinderella lost her shoe at midnight 12 at the ball. Now, this is where I've, I've put an extra slide in here because what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video here. This is the time to pause the video. And I want you to do the same thing as this just happened here. As you can see here, they turn this password, whoops, they turn this password here into a helpful clue. Okay, so they, they use this clue to help remember this password. I want you to make up clues for these five passwords. Okay, I want you to make up clues for these five passwords. So pause the video or write down and pause the video and write down the passwords onto some paper. Then underneath each password, I want you to come up with a clue or a silly sentence to help remember these made up passwords. Okay, so because it's good practice. Can you so pause the video? Write down the passwords, then come up with clues or silly sentences to help you remember these made-up passwords. Now's the time to pause the video and do that. Okay, now you have done all of those activities. I can't wait to hear them. Okay, and if you've done them, you can write them even on the global, sorry, the Google Classroom for our class. Okay, if you write them on the Google Classroom, then you can, um, then we can all share them. Okay, that would be really great. Okay, now you've done that. And let's go on to the last part of the lesson. Now that I've thought of the really strong password, should I make sure I use this for every account? Hmm, what do you think? If you have one really good password, should you use it for everything? True or false? No. If you use the same password for every account, someone who guesses that password, even if it's by accident, then can log into everything that you have, which wouldn't be good. So you need different passwords for your different accounts. Use a different strong password for each of your accounts. Okay, here we go. Cybersecurity guys here. Hi, I'm, I'm the cybersecurity guard. We're looking for new recruits. I need you to answer some security questions to see if you'd be up to the job. Answer correctly to score points. Okay, which of these things would you normally use a password for? Microwave, social media app, online game, email inbox, calculator, washing machine. If you said microwave, that is Karong. It's not a microwave. You don't need a password for a microwave. Social media app. One point, correct, you get a point. If you said online game, you get a point. If you said email inbox, you get a point. If you said calculator, incorrect. If you said washing machine, incorrect. If you said microwave, incorrect. Which of these things should you use in a password? Choose all the answers that are correct. So choose the things that you should use in a password. Have a think. Lowercase letters, your birthday, punctuation marks, emojis, numbers, your phone number, capital letters, your nan's name, symbols, your house number. Should you use lowercase letters? Yes, you should. Should you use your birthday? No, you should. Should you use punctuation marks? Yes, you should. Should you use emojis? No, not all phones have emojis and not all password um, keyboards have emoji access. So there's no point putting an emoji as your, your one. Numbers, yes. Your phone number? No, you don't want to do that. Capital letters, yes. Your nan's name. No, someone knows your nan's name, they can access your account. Symbols, 
Yes. And your house number. No. No points there. Which of these is the strongest password? Is it J-E-S-S-I-E-159, Jesse-159, John-7, L-M-2-B, at A, at A, at H, at 2, or pass S-S, word. Which one is the best? Hopefully, okay, five, four, three, two, hopefully you said this one. This one is the best one. You get two points, okay? This one is not a very good password because... It looks like Jesse. John Seven, also not a very good one. Password, also not a very good one. Should you tell your password to three friends in case you forget it? True or false? Easy peasy one. Hopefully, you all said false. You shouldn't tell anybody your password. Which of these top tips should you listen to? A. Use country names to you in your password to help you remember it. Write your password in your diary in tiny letters in case you forget it. Use a different strong password for each of your online accounts. Password with numbers in are easiest to guess. You should listen to one of those top tips. Which one should you listen to? Which one should you listen to? Hopefully, you decided that A, use country names, is not a good idea. Hopefully, you decided that this one here, write your password in, in tiny letters in your diary, is not a good idea. Hopefully, you realised that passwords with numbers in are easiest to guess. I really realised that was a bad idea. So hopefully, you selected this one. Use a different strong password for each of your online accounts. Whoa, if you're worried that there has been a security breach and someone has found out your password, what would what should you do? A. Call an ambulance. B. Change your password straight away. C. Email everyone you know and ask for advice. D. Ask the person to forget your password. E. Tell a trusted adult. F. Delete all of your accounts. G. Relax and do nothing. I think there's two there that you should do. What are the two that you should do? Should you call an ambulance? No! Should you change your password straight away? Yes! Should you email everyone you know and ask for advice? No! Should you ask the person to forget your password? No, they're not going to forget. Should you tell a trusted adult? Yes! That's a good idea. Should you delete all of your accounts? No, you don't need to do that. You just need to change your password. And should you relax and do nothing? No, you should do something about it. How did you do? If you have 0 to 4, we can see your potential. If you have 5 to 9, you've got a little more to learn, but you're on your way to becoming a great candidate. 10 to 14, a little training and you could be a real security star. And if you've got 15, outstanding. Have you thought about joining the Cyber Security Service? So hopefully, after this video, we've met our aim, which is to create strong passwords, and that we've completed all three things on our success criteria, that now you can all explain the rules for creating a strong password. You can create a strong password using a set of rules, like the codes, the things that we practice, the clues. And finally, you can explain why having a strong password is important. Okay, I will, um, hopefully you enjoyed your ICT class, and I will see you tomorrow at 7.40 for another virtual school lesson.